Hey guys, Jason here from Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. Welcome back to another episode of Carvco Hacks, Maker Plus Edition. This is a series where we show quick tips for the Carvco software. In this episode, we're going to go over the toolpath transform tool that's found in Carvco Maker Plus. I've got a project that's 10 by 10 that's open, and we're going to pull a clip art out of our relief clip art library, and I'm just going to use the wing base. I'm going to resize this to fit our project. Press F9 to center it and let's make this about an inch thick. After I paste this down I wanted to use this base because it has a curved surface and I'm going to show you how to transform a 2D toolpath onto a 3D relief. To demonstrate this I'm just going to open up my text tool and I'm going to add some text here. We're going to type out Carvco Maker Plus and I'm going to center this text by pressing F9 and then we're going to bring it down so that it's centered on our model. The way the toolpath transform tool works is you must first have a toolpath created. So we're going to create two different toolpaths. The first toolpath we're going to create is for the 3D relief. And we're just going to create a regular 3D machine relief. And to cut this out, I'm going to use a 1 16th skinny Jenny. And we'll select a Jenny compression bit for the roughing. I'm going to change my safe Z here, 0.2. And we're going to define our material at an inch and a half. I want to calculate this toolpath real quick. And after the toolpath is calculated, if I simulate this toolpath, we will have our 3D relief. Let's delete the simulation. I'm going to close this machine relief. Okay, now we want to create our V-carve toolpath for our lettering. So I'm just going to select a V-carve toolpath, and we're using the selected vectors of the lettering that we have. I'm going to select the carving bit, and we're going to use a 60-degree groovy Jenny for this demonstration, which is going to give us a depth of cut of 0 0.08671. Calculate this toolpath, and if I rotate this around right now, you can see that the toolpath is created perfectly flat. And if I simulate this toolpath, let's simulate the machine relief, the lettering toolpath is only going to carve the places where it touched. So to fix this, we're going to use our transform tool to transform our V carve toolpath. Delete my simulation. Let's turn back on our vectors so that you can see where this toolpath lies. Now the transform toolpath has a couple of different functions. With the transform toolpath, you can move the toolpath around on the project using this middle box. Giving it a distance in inches, if we use a quarter inch, we can move our toolpath around on the project. If I go to the overhead, you can see that we're moving this around at a quarter inch of a time. You can rotate it to different angles. You also have the ability to put in absolute coordinates and it's all referenced from the center which is this reference spot at the top. There's also a mirroring function that allows you to instantly mirror or reverse the toolpath. This can give you a reverse carving of the lettering. You can also do that in the Y axis as well. And then the last tool on the transform toolpath is the drop tool and project tool function. Now, this is probably what you will use this tool the most for. And this is what will allow you to drop the 2D toolpath onto the 3D surface. Now, it has two ways how it drops to the surface. The drop tool uses the side of the bit or the edge of the bit to to determine where on the wood that it makes contact. Project tool uses the center of the bit or between the tip and the edge of the bit to determine where it touches the wood. Now I'll just tell you from experience that the real only difference between these two is that the project tool tends to be a little bit deeper than the drop tool. I mainly use the project tool because it always allows the bit to fully engage the material. I'm going to select project tool and we're going to project this onto our relief. Now if I turn this to the side you can see that our text has now been projected down onto the surface of the relief. Now if we simulate 
our toolpaths, we now have that V carving that has transformed into the surface of our 3D model. The toolpath transform tool works with all of the toolpaths, so you can do this with a profile toolpath, an area clearance toolpath, or any of the other toolpaths. And that's the power of the toolpath transform tool. Thanks guys, make bid happen, and I'll see you on the next hack.